today I'm going to show you how to make uh, my favorite tuna salad. And even if tuna salad is not really your thing, you might actually like this one. So you're going to need, of course, tuna. Um, I always get the solid white albacore, if that's probably backwards, in water. Okay, and carrot, onion, dill weed, salt and pepper, onion powder, and crushed red pepper. If you don't like it spicy, you don't have to use all that, um, but I like it to have a little bit of a kick. Okay, and then also I put Greek yogurt in mine. This is the plain, non-fat Greek yogurt. I use that in place of mayonnaise. It makes it more healthy. Another variation you can do is to crush an avocado and mix that into the tuna with some Greek yogurt. Um, if you're not too keen on getting rid of all your mayonnaise, you could do half mayonnaise, half yogurt. Um, you can experiment. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, and then I'm peeling it with this. This is my favorite peeler. Um, I'm peeling it right into the compost bin or trying to. It's actually gonna go everywhere. This is how I protect myself when cutting. I hold it like this and just make a little cut to start it and then take my hand out of the way to do the rest. Okay, when they're kind of small like this, it's easier to chop it finer, which is what we want. It's up to you how fine you want it to be, but I'm just going to leave it like that and then put it into a big, pretty big container. Okay, this is a good trick for cutting onions is that always have the knife on the side that's curving away from you. So like, okay, now it's starting to curve towards me again, so I'm going to turn it. Okay, and then now I'm going to turn it this way and cut on this side. And then turn this way and cut on that side. So if it slips, it'll slip, should hopefully slip away from you. And then once it starts to get really small, just keep turning it. And then when it's really small, I'll just take my hand out of the way. Also, if your eyes do water like mine are right now, um, you can make them less watery by storing your onions in the refrigerator um, rather than storing them in the cupboard or something. If you store them in the refrigerator, you have less problems with watery eyes, although you still get it. You can make it finer than this, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, that onion was very strong. Alright, so next we have to get our tuna ready.
Okay, then I do it like this. I use the lid like a strainer to get squeeze all the juice out. And then just push one side of the lid with your finger until it pops up on the other side because you really don't want to cut yourself on this unless you have one of those can openers that does a smooth edge, but I don't. Okay, so now it's time to add the yogurt and the spices, whichever ones you want. I think it, I don't usually use this much salt, but I think tuna salad is really bland unless spices to it. This is the onion powder and the dill weed I like a lot. You can also do parsley Or um, you can also do hot madras curry powder in place of the dill, not with the dill. That would taste weird. Um, but if you want an extra spicy version, you can do hot madras curry powder. Um, this is the plain full fat yogurt. Uh, you could also do low fat or non fat if you want. But really, did you know that whole milk it's still only 3% fat. So, it's actually not that much fat even with the whole. Still 97% fat free. Okay, I might have wanted a slightly bigger container for this. Alright, let's make sure we have a clean presentation here so we don't get yelled at by Chef Ramsay. So I'm just going to wipe off all the schmutz from the edge of the container. Okay, and we're all done. You can see the lovely tuna-y goodness. And it's time to taste it. Yep, that was definitely a good batch, so thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.